president of academics here at App Academy. So I'm joining you today to provide um, just some updates. We also have Kush Patel. Kush, I don't know if you want to quickly introduce yourself. Hey, folks, I'm uh, Kush, the founder and CEO of App Academy. I'll show a little bit more later, but I'll kick it over uh, back to Meredith. Awesome. Thanks, Kush. Uh, so we're here today uh, to just bring you all together and speak face to face and frankly uh, with you about some changes that we have made um, to our instructor team uh, and to answer any questions you may have about this change. Uh, to start off, I do want to just state very clearly um, and very openly and honestly that it truly is the utmost importance to us, you know, at App Academy and our school. Um, to serve you, continue to serve you, our students, and to fulfill our school's mission, which is to help you all change your careers and your lives through becoming software engineers. Um, you know, we've done this for the past coming up on 11 years, and we will continue to do this for, for years to come. So that is our mission, and that is our, that is our priority, and that is the driving force behind all decisions that we, we do make um, within our school. So with that, um, I did want to talk you through a decision that we made, um, which is to reorganize some of our internal teams at App Academy today and reallocate our resources to um, what we know are the highest leverage places towards our learners and your student experience and your job outcomes. With that, we are going to be eliminating a single role within your App Academy um, st student experience, uh, and that is the cohort lead. So as of today, we you know, are eliminating the cohort lead role at App Academy. So any tasks or items that you would have normally gone to your cohort lead with, you will now um, be directing these items to your module lead instructor. Um, some areas that we, you know, will be moving to is, you know, instruction resources and increasing investment and in tooling for our instruction team to be as effective as possible. Um, and, you know, in the job search phase, you know, we're going to be also, you know, increasing support, uh, instruction support, and just other supports as well um, for our job seekers, which you will all become one day um, for relevant skills, you know, such as, you know, providing a, a module of content to those who, who choose to go through it on TypeScript after you're an alumni, if you're interested in, you know, going and applying for jobs that have that, you know, getting those materials and that extra content from App Academy. And, you know, we will continue to add more resources and continue to, you know, enhance your learning experience here at App Academy. So with that, I'll, I'll pass it over to Kush. Thank you, Meredith. So uh, to reiterate, uh, the, the decision was really made in an effort to make sure that we're directing the resources that we have to the highest ROI places to increase student experience, but also to, to maximize uh, student job outcomes. So that's that's really what we're focused on. So um, as Meredith mentioned, that'll involve uh, moving instructional team resources to tooling, uh, additional tooling for our, for our team, um, uh, different kinds of software, other kinds of uh, tooling resources. We'll be investing in instructional resources in helping train um, job seekers in relevant skills so uh different kinds of uh new, new technologies deeper understanding of current technologies that, that you folks are learning uh in the in the curriculum so we'll be we'll be continuing to 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 move resources towards there where we've really seen a high impact high yield to those uh when it comes to impact on job outcomes so um that's that's a that's a call that we're making uh with with the vantage point that we have of, of seeing um, seeing both the instructional portion and the job search uh, portion at this time. So um, now I want to reiterate to you folks that um, this is not a reflection of App Academy's future, uh, nor anything that you folks should be concerned about. Uh, there's a lot of noise right now about Silicon Valley bank closure, tech layoffs, et cetera, that are happening over the last year. Um, I want to take a moment to reassure you folks that App Academy is here to stay uh, and here to serve you folks, both as students now and, and uh, as grads, uh, and then as later as App Academy alumni. So um, I do want to pause here and take uh, take questions. We have a um, anonymous link where you can submit uh, questions. So we'll take those. Uh, you can, of course, just raise your raise your hand, but um, we'll, we'll also uh, send out that anonymous link. Meredith, do you want to drop that in the chat? Thank you. Yeah. All 
Uh, Taylor, you have a you have a question. You want to jump in? Hey, Kush Patel. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Taylor. I'm in the uh, December cohort currently. Um, I had two questions. Um, my first question is: What are some of the new technologies that may be taught, and what's the time frame or timeline on that likely going to be? I know TypeScript was mentioned. Yeah, so so uh, TypeScript is one that we have uh, greenlit right now. Uh, we're looking at different uh, technologies. So some of the um, things that we're, we're looking at um, increasing potentially students' uh, understanding of cloud skills um, and looking at, at potential trainings there. Uh, we're, we're looking at a number of areas. So so and the the job placements team and the instruction team are working kind of close uh, closely. The curriculum team is also helping support in terms of understanding what those job skills are that are most in demand that are that, that will move the needle uh, most quickly for folks but we have prioritized that as an area where we want to uh, develop those courses uh, or courses of short modules workshops etc to move people uh, forward more rapidly this will be in addition of course to um, things like we have increased the frequency of uh, something that's known as recap academy that you haven't faced yet it's more of a job search uh, um, a feature but something where um, essentially um, we, we recap a lot of the, the learnings that you folks have have um, gone over in the very long course you made sure you really understand those so um, there'll be efforts like that in addition to, to new technologies so. thank you so much and then um, the other question that I had was um, with a lot of the um, people who were uh, cohort leads being uh, App Academy alumni, uh, I'm just wondering, like, were they given notice um, or was it this like an abrupt change? Um, because I do feel like that is partially a reflection of like the commitment that you guys make. Sure. Yeah. So um, we have um, done done a few things. So we have uh, given um We've offered uh, severance packages to those folks that are commensurate with their um, with their tenure. Uh, we felt it was best to let them know as quickly as as we did in terms of making a decision to reallocate resources. So um, we instead of giving you know notice and warning, which may also create some other unnecessary anxiety and stress for other team members that may worry, uh, we decided to just have the conversation as quickly as possible with them so they can also move forward and we can we can move forward so um we do that we there are other um you know kind of benefits that we're extending for them and other you know kind of job search support that we're offering to those folks so um there, there, there's yeah a, a fair amount that we're doing there um but yeah that's uh that's about the amount that um yeah i uh, can, can share with you without getting into particulars but, yeah. thank you um alexander kim you're the next one up yeah can you hear me all right yes so you mentioned that laying off the cohort leads was done to maximize student value you know maximize roi for student value but to me the end of days that our cohort lead john was going through with us were some of like that was like the highest value that was tying everything in we learned for the day and demonstrating like real world applications um so what's the I guess what what benefit are we seeing? Like, how is this maximizing ROI for us? I understand you know resources may be needing to be reallocated, but what you know what's the substitute here? Yeah, definitely. So um, some of the responsibilities that the cohort leads had are being reallocated to other team members. So it, it's you won't see a uh, uh, you know complete change there in terms of what the cohort leads were delivering. Now. Um, in terms of what the value, you know, where the value is shifting or where, you know, what, what are we getting in exchange for this to some extent? So um, we are really uh, focusing on the efforts that we think and, and have seen uh, to be most successful in getting folks uh, jobs in a more challenging market. So th there's just a very different kind of job search approach, job search support level, um, you know, uh, educational level required in the job search for folks in a market such as this that especially lasts for as long as this well, market seems to be lasting for versus a more uh, a, a hotter market if you will so given that and seeing the, the the change there which seems to be you know continuing to to prolong we think this change makes sense now to make sure that job outcomes will be maximized so this is based off of previous experiences that we've had going through challenging markets like this and seeing what what is actually most effective so we, we decided you know to, to make the change now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, Beverly, I think you're next. Hi there. Um, so 
For folks that don't know me, I'm Beverly. I am in the January 2023 cohort. And I want to say that John, our cohort lead until today, has been a extremely integral part of our community. I think we had a really high uh, number of folks passing like assessments, excelling, succeeding every week. And I think I wholeheartedly give him a lot of credit for us being so successful. And so what I want to know is what other considerations were made to better budget with an app academy. And uh, I want to call uh, uh, some, I want to, I guess, shine some light on an example from earlier this year, uh, where some CEOs such as like Tim Cook from Apple and some others took a pay cut in order to help alleviate layoffs. And I want to know if that was considered here for App Academy. And I also want to know if App Academy has a rainy day fund, if they, I know this has happened in the past, and I want to know if this is something that was planned for, could have been planned for, um, or if there's any kind of cushion or funds to fall upon uh, on where this could have been prevented. Sure. So um, I, I, I'll try to make sure I answer all your questions, so, but please uh, jump in if I um, leave any out. So um, first up, you had a question around um, in terms of what, where we looked at resource decisions and what uh, other departments uh, we looked at in terms of being making cuts and how, how, you know, what what it looked like in the full picture. So uh, we did uh, take the frame of, um, of, of uh, maximizing the, or, or um, really uh, maximizing the wrong word. So uh, minimizing the, the impact on student experience and maximizing job outcomes as the, the heuristic that we took for how do we make these changes. So the changes that are happening on the back end, more administrative staff are significant, are, are more, more significant than are happening on the front end. So that's, that's worth sharing. Um, in terms of um, compensation, you know, uh, uh, th th those kinds of ramifications for uh, the leadership team. So that is definitely happening. Uh, we we um, have have shared that with the with with the internal App Academy staff for not um, you know putting out a public statement about this. But but it's, there have definitely been uh, ramifications that um, are, are there for leadership um, compensation that um, are going to to go towards uh, making sure that we can retain as many staff as possible that will be directed towards the the, the goals that I mentioned of uh, student experience and, and job outcomes. So um, I think those were your questions, Beverly. I'm not sure if I missed any there. I think so. Um, I'm, I guess I, I wanted clarification when you said that, um, am I understanding this correct when you said that the, could, there are considerations happening for upper like management and leadership to have like pay cuts to help prevent layoffs. Is that what I'm understanding? The, uh, yes, there are compensation uh, impacts there. There's also uh, leadership team. We're really looking at the uh, makeup of the leadership team and uh, you may see changes there also in terms of just who the, you know, who's on the team uh, there to make sure that we have strongest team kind of going forward and we're reflecting again, accountability responsibility for uh, these decisions. Um, next up, uh, Stefan, Stefan. Yeah, hi, Stefan Winter. Um, my question is, you mentioned putting this money you're saving to resources and tools and software. And having run and sold two companies myself, I kind of now know that usually takes months and months to build out. And in the admission process, you know, we were sold on this whole cohort thing. So are these tools and software ready to go now? Is that stuff we're not going to benefit from at all, but paying for cohort leads that now we don't have? What can you show us that, what are these tool, tools and software that we're getting instead? Sure. So the, the tools and software are used to support the instructional staff and coaching staff and, and uh, other administrative staff. So they, they will not be uh, student facing. Uh, there have been investments that have already been uh, rolled out in software that that is in the, you know, either has been purchased in the procurement process or will likely be invested in. Uh, there is, of course, a phased approach. So in the same way that um, yeah, so so th that's that's a process that that is already unfolding. It, it's not. I take your full point that if we were planning on developing software, it would take a long time for those investments to be seen by students. But that we we expect um, much more near term impacts um, through that investment. And of course, that's only a piece of things. We're also, of course, taking 
other resources and investing them in course development and, and other areas that we think will support students again in a very uh, uh very short period of time versus and essentially your answer was we're our tuition is staying the same we lose a big resource we had but there's nothing you can say we're giving you this software starting today or starting next week there's nothing that you can show us physically in the AA open or somewhere that this is what you get now instead of this. Yeah, I I, I will say the, the areas that we're pointing to in terms of what you, what you get are the um, increased uh, job search support uh, in terms of the additional uh, efforts that are going to be made there on the additional curriculum that you'll get, the additional depth that you'll get from those folks, the additional coaching staff that will be on that team, additional employer partnerships uh, investments that will be there to connect to increase connections with companies. So those always uh, we found are uh, much more robust in cycles like this. So really helping support students. Those are big investments. Uh, the software, again, will not be facing students. So it will be facing staff. So you won't see those, but th those investments are are being made uh, essentially uh, you know, uh, in, in the near term, not over the long term. So th th those are all examples of specific things that that will, will change uh, as a result of these resources being reallocated. All right. Well, I, I speak for myself, but uh, other students too, I think. And I, I would really appreciate if my tuition stays the same to see a uh, really well laid out. This is what's changing the jo uh, job search and what are we actually getting in exchange for losing end of days and very valuable resources. Not just a uh, speech, but this is how we're changing job search or this. Appreciate uh, the feedback, Stefan. Um, uh, Chris, Christian, sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Yeah, yeah, Christian, no worries. Um, yeah, just piggybacking off of Stefan's um, point there, can you speak to the um, timing of this announcement? Like, was it closing on a contract? Um, was it, you know, like something related to the vendors that you're using? Um, kind of what, what went into, um, you know, this happening today, and then maybe you can walk us through kind of the journey. Sure. Yeah. No. Uh, so this decision uh, did take a few uh, weeks to, to, to plan, uh, not that many weeks, but essentially small, a, sh a short number of weeks. So winding those, you know, call it a couple of weeks uh, back that it, that it took. Um, it uh, was really triggered by looking at the the job market as a whole, the, the, you know, kind of looking at the, the, what um you know the the numbers that we saw in our placement rates and reflections there that we believe uh you know will will come back but will take some time to come back and where we need to shift our support to most support um students and and where we need to reallocate resources given a job market that looked uh essentially um like it would be more challenging for longer given you know things like the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank and and some of these other things that you saw in the headlines over the, the previous few weeks that right. um, are, were some of the inputs to this. So th uh, so this was event driven, right? So this sorry, you, you know sorry. this is in reaction to SVB. Um, so the what was the lead time for you know reviewing the software that you procured? And if you might if you don't mind me asking, um, what's the name of one of the vendors? Yeah, sure. So um, we. The the in terms of the uh, lead time for the software, there are a lot of um, uh, pieces of software that we have looked at investments that we've held off on. So uh, one of the the vendors, for example, is a, a company called Resume uh, Worded. So it's a it's a AI software that will allow you to um, get. Uh, resume feedback and really move things a lot faster for our coaches. So um, this is something that we've uh, had a proposal on and have held off on resourcing because we've resourced in other areas. Now we've said, okay, given these investment options that we've we've seen, it makes sense to shift these investments from here to there. Again, it, it of course doesn't make sense that we would make this decision and buy the software all within two weeks. So that's definitely not not what has happened. It's more that we've had decisions that or, or options that we've been looking at that we've said, okay, now's the time we need to to make the shift and and move over here. So um that that's yeah, one one example of of uh, something that we're um, that we're moving forward on. So, yeah. Uh, next up, uh, Joshua. 
Hey, good afternoon. Um, so I was wondering with cohort leads being something so integral to the student experience, why was the decision made to remove them from the program, uh, not only mid program, but mid mod and mid week even, um, that's clearly gonna have uh, an impact on student experience um, when it could have been phased out um, for future cohorts. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's a it's a fair program. Uh, fair, fair question. Sorry. Um, so essentially, um, there was a decision made to to um, move forward kind of as quickly as possible, to communicate as quickly as possible with the people that were impacted, give them you know a fair amount of runway or severance to to make the the move that, that they need to to make from um, or at least the the best that, that we can do and other support uh, benefits and and whatnot there. So um, that. That decision was was made to to um, be as humane as possible to those folks, and at the same time, understanding the internal teams that would take on some of the duties that the cohort leads had, so that we can minimize the impact of those cohort leads uh, leaving. So, um, you'll you'll see some of the 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 the, the mob leaders uh, taking over some of the the cohort lead uh, duties. We'll have other folks um, and other resources to, to support as well. But um, yeah, it's I, I think the decision could have gone either way, and and we made this call for for various reasons um, that that we think yeah um, yeah we're the we're the right call. But um, next up we have Tony. And we're actually over time here. So maybe this, I don't know if this might need to be the last question here live. Um, yeah. Hi, um, my name is Tony. I'm from the November um, cohort. Our mod leads David, and he has been nothing short of amazing. Um, I kind of want to just build up on the previous questions that are kind of asked is that where was the communication between like students and Ab Academy for this. Like we do surveys every week. We do surveys every day, actually. Every uh, like are those inputs actually taken into account? Because for many of us, like I think it's also been touched on. We started with a cohort lead and it's been a very integral part of our experience here at App Academy. Um David is a very important part of our day and all that he helps and like the little tidbits that he gives us for our lessons. I'm a little confused why like the communication between like students and app academy was just non-existent in like this regard how come like we found out today that our cohort leads are being um let go and we now have to readjust uh for many of us it's like uh for some of us i mean um it's like towards the end now we have to kind of like refigure out how we're going about stuff um a lot of our module leads they're already um and tas actually they're already overworked um a lot of them are tired they're doing a lot of hours taking away another one of our like um helpers i guess our resources um it's, it's just very disappointing that ab academy didn't convey this to us or at least communicate with us beforehand as many of us here have already paid or will be paying for the tuition so for the value of students why wasn't there any communication here yeah uh thanks for the question tony so um the uh the the decision was made to to kind of um, communicate as quickly as possible to the affected parties. So um, the cohort leads and and other impacted folks learned uh, this morning, and you folks are learning now. So we tried to keep that window in terms of the the you know time between when we told the affected staff members and the students to be very sh as short as we could. Um, but there were other communications that we had to have internally. But we we tried to make that effort to um, once a decision was made to communicate as as quickly as we could. So. Um, but yeah, take, take your point. There, there is all, of course always the ability uh, for us to increase and better our uh, communication with with students. So, um, I do understand, of course, that thirty minutes is not uh, enough time here. So, um, what I'll say is that I think the the you know we will definitely be looking at the questions that are submitted uh, to that link that we shared. Uh, we can share. Will they be here. public? Sorry. Will everybody, all the students, be able to see these questions that are being posted? Because I think uh, we should have access to that. Yeah, that that was uh, we will. Uh, that was not the plan, but we can we can do that. Sure. Yeah, we can share those those questions out. So we uh, there will be 
hundreds of questions. Uh, you know, I've been answering the questions live here, of course, in the group, but just knowing um, there. So uh, we will work through those and and uh, try to give answers where we can and, and try to find other venues to connect with with students also to, to answer your questions. But um, if you, uh, Meredith, do you mind sharing that link again, please? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, I apologize. We do have to run to another meeting for um, another set of students, but um, we will uh, definitely uh, do our best to, to get back to you on uh, some of these questions. So appreciate um, you folks submitting them and appreciate you taking your time out of your day to, to hear us out here. So. This is sad. That's ridiculous. Please definitely leave questions in the the Zoom or the the Google form, and we'll we'll review them and address them. Give us no security.